hey guys welcome to another video josh here i hope you're doing well today i'm going to be showing you a cool software that can find duplicate files on your computer now this software works for mac linux and windows so it's completely cross-platform plus it's open source so it's it's a plus all round bonus all round i love open source software because you can actually get into the code see what it's doing and make sure that it's not doing anything dodgy right now this software that i'm going to be talking about today would allow you to find duplicate files on your computer pictures movies video files any document it, it, and and the cool thing about it is it, it has multiple ways of searching so you could either search for duplicates using the file name or using the contents of the file so in certain cases so for example the movies or uh, pictures you can actually check the contents of your pictures using the algorithms and it, it could actually approximate very similar pictures or the exact pictures to let you know where there are possible duplicates now I'm going to be showing you what this software is, where you can get it from, and I'll be running a little test just to show you how it works and you know see what the limitations are. Just a minor test, nothing too long. So let's dive right in. So I'm going to move over to my computer. Right, there we are. So the name of this software is Dupe Guru, right? As in duplicate guru, <laughs> if you didn't get that. Um, and I'll put the link in the description below so you can grab a copy of that. It's completely free. And like I said, it's available on pretty much all the platforms, Windows, uh, Mac OS, Linux, and you can get the open source, the, the actual source yourself. So it's pretty cool. I've already installed it. So let's dive right in and see what it's about. Now, um, to help us accurately test this, I've prepared a couple of photographs, which I'll just drag into view here. So I have a folder called different photos. Now in this folder, I've got this picture, this picture, and this picture, which are clearly very different photographs, right? So I do not expect that uh, it would flag any of these photos as duplicates, right? Now the next folder I've got are pretty much just copies of the same photo. So it's the same photo, five copies of the same photo. So I expect this to be flagged by the software. And the final, um, Folder I have is sort of similar photographs. So this is with me. This is me with glasses on. This is me without glasses, and then the thumbs up picture, and me just slightly out of frame. So I'm guessing it, it should flag any of these photographs, or it may not, because I don't think um, you with glasses on is similar enough to you with glasses off, especially to algorithms to. Uh, flag to, to come up as a duplicate so I, I don't expect it to work but i want to see just how um, intrusive the software is to see if we'd actually think that's a duplicate or not so i'm going to pull up the software over here so once you install it you know you get this sort of standard window um, you get this these buttons down here plus or minus where you get to add the path of your um of the folder where your photos are or you know whatever path you want to scan so you could you, you could add your entire computer and then it scans through everything or you can add a particular folder that you're interested in scanning through so whatever you want to do you can and of course you get to choose the application mode up top here standard for various files or music it's got a specific music mode that can search through tags which is interesting um, but i'm not going to get into that now because the, the purpose of this test is just to check for pictures and of course standard files standard files you can use file name or uh, whatever you want so you could you could select what type of scan you want do you want a file name scan do you want a content scan it's pretty cool software now for pictures if you put this application in the picture mode you can also select if you want the timestamp or content so the good thing about this is you could check the timestamp and help it approximate better so for example if you uh, went out on a trip and you put your f your camera your phone's camera on burst mode and you take rapid photos in succession chances are you get lots of duplicates so you can find those duplicates and then sort of select which one or which ones you want to keep yeah this this is really cool software and f of course for standard you could uh, scan through folders file name content uh, as usual so let's get started so i've already added the path to this um sort of set of files over here my photo test folder so i've already added that over here so let's see if it does actually find it 
So let's click on scan. You haven't saved, yes. Never mind. I already ran this previously. So it's going to bring up a results window over here. So look at this. Now, the cool thing about this is it shows you the size and the match percentage. So if you run this test on a wider scale, I, I tried this, run this test on my entire um, hard drive, which took quite a bit, but because I've got loads of files, I've got like uh, two terabytes drive in my computer. So I've got loads of files. Um, and that, that showed me different files with uh, varying percentages. I got uh, percentages as low as 90 something percent. So that's how cool it is. It, it could find, it could sort of approximate. So let's see what it found. So now, and oh yeah, the best thing about this is it finds duplicates across different uh, folders or even drives. So if you've got two external hard drives with say your work on it or, you know, photos or I don't know, whatever it is, and you've got the same file on both drives, you can actually use the software to find that pretty quickly. It's it's very cool. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Now, pay attention to the files and um, the folder the files are found in. Now, of course, as expected, all the files in the same photos folder are flagged <laughs> as duplicates. Uh, we can just inspect to see. So if you click on this eye icon up top, it shows you just a quick preview of what for, of what uh, fi file was found, what duplicate was found. So yeah, this this is really cool, um, and you can of course select all of them and add selected to ignore list, remove selected, or reveal them, delete them, whatever you want to do with them. It, it, it's 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 something you could do. So I, I think it's 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 such a cool piece of software and again it's entirely free it's so powerful um, I'm aware of other software that have sort of prettier user interfaces like Gemini and um, other software like that but they're paid and to be frank they're not as powerful as this so I was very shocked to find that this was completely free um, yeah so guys I hope you enjoyed that um, okay guys that's been it I hope you enjoyed that um, this is really cool software. It's completely free. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. And you've got a lot of space to gain. Trust me, I use this to find so many duplicate pictures, especially because I take ton I take a ton of pictures in burst mode when I go to events or you know when I'm out and about and I I'm going sightseeing or whatever. I tend to take loads of duplicates and this has helped me find a lot of them, most of them, delete them, get rid of them, find similar pictures, get rid of them find similar documents, get rid of them, find similar video files, get rid of them, and on, and on, and on, right? So it, it's fantastic software. I totally recommend it. It's completely free and it's open source. So you, you're sure it's pretty safe. So guys, get into it. Grab, <laughs> grab this software while it's still free. I don't know why it's still free, but it is. So get it and um, enjoy. So uh, that's been it, guys. Let me know what you thought about that in the comment section below and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, as usual, be fantastic. See you around. Cheers.